In this section, we will illustrate one of the methods of valuing an entity, and it's the simple method of free cash flow valuations. For the purposes of this type of valuation, we assume that the value of uh, an entity is equal to the present value of future cash flows. We will explain in the next few slides what does the present value of future cash flows mean. But basically it's the method whereby you take the cash that you expect to receive in the future and you discount it back to the value at the current time. So assuming that a business is worth the present value of all its future cash flows. That's the basics of the free cash flow value method of valuations. You should remember that valuations are always subjective. So this valuation is only a starting point of the, in the process of choosing an appropriate valuation method. Various me me methods can be used and uh, this is one of the methods that can be used as a starting point. When determining which valuation method we should use, we should consider various different factors. For example, the going concern status of the entity. If the entity is not a going concern, and it's in fact in the process of being liquidating, liquidated, then we are not going to use the free cash flow method because uh, obviously there will be no cash flows. Um, is the company an investment only or does it actually generate income from producing goods? Do we value a minority or a majority shareholding because there's a bit of a premium to be placed on a majority shareholding. Minority shareholdings, uh, there will be a discount on the other hand. Fluctuating growth, if growth is going to fluctuate uh, a lot, then you might not be able to use a simple method as the one that we are explaining now. And then also, are we trying to value the earnings or are we trying to value the cash flow that's coming out of the earnings? And that again depends on a whole number of factors. So all of those factors need to be considered when we decide which method to use when performing evaluation. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will use the free cash flow valuation method. And that is a method that is used in simple circumstances where we want to value the cash flows and we are not expecting the cash flows to vary widely over future periods. So we take two periods generally, might take more if the cash flows vary too much, but we take the first period, so that is what we're going to refer to now as the planning period, that's next year or this year, when you need to incur certain once-off costs, maybe get your working capital right, get your property plant and equipment ready, etc. And then we're going to take a future period, which is representative of the period. So as I said, this is a, a simple uh, scenario where there is actually a period that represents the future. So the period after the planning period is called the representative year. We take that period and we value its cash flows into perpetuity. So the assumption is that it will be able to produce that cash flow forever. The free cash flow calculated is then discounted to the current period using the company's cost of capital. The weighted average cost of capital, WACC, the weighted average cost of capital is used to reflect the specific company's risk profile. So once you've used the weighted average cost of capital, it's not necessary to make another adjustment for risk purposes. Then once we've valued the total equity or the total cash flows, then to value the equity, we simply take the value of the cash flows, which represents the value of the operations, and then we add the value of any non-operating assets and investments that are not part of the operations, and we deduct any long-term or permanent debt that's not part of the working capital of the company, and that determines the total equity value of the company. So just to see in a calculation what I just said, to get to the total value of the company, you take the value of the operations, add the value of any non-operating assets and investments, deduct long-term debt or permanent debt, add any excess cash and cash equivalents, and that gives you the total equity value of the company. And here is the formula to calculate the value using the free cash flow method. 
we need to know three terms. That is D1. D1 is the cash flow in the representative year. The total cash flows, net cash flow that you're going to make in that representative year. WACC, as we said already, is the weighted average cost of capital, and that is calculated by taking the company's cost of capital, and making appropriate adjustments for risk and appropriate adjustments for the capital structure. And G is the growth rate, the nominal growth rate. So what do you expect the cash flow to grow by every year? The formula is then uh, you use D1, which is the cash flow, divided by weighted average cost of capital minus G. So if your weighted average cost of capital was 12% and your growth rate you're expecting is 10%, 12 minus 10% is 2% or uh, 0 0.02, then I would take D1 divided by 0 0.02 to calculate the value of the future cash flows.